coming at you from the blue room with another let me show you how to design video. Today we are going to be making some circle shaped stickers that would be great to go on any sort of label you have, um, maybe for a mason jar or even for um, bath bombs that you can get from the Dollar Tree. These would actually make really good stocking stuffers too. So I'm going to show you how to grab shapes and images from Cricut Design Space and turn them into stickers that you can just peel right off and slap on your gift and be done. Let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna need to go grab a shape. I'm gonna be doing circle stickers tonight, but um, if you wanted to do like a hexagon or any, like a heart or any other thing, same concept, just choose a different shape. I'm gonna go with a circle. Okay, so my bath bomb, I actually measured and it comes out to be two and a half inches by about two and three quarters of an inch but I want to make sure my sticker fits on there without like coming over the edge or looking sloppy. So I'm actually going to downsize it a little bit and just keep it at an even two by two. Cool. So now I'm going to go over to images and choose the saying, um, you're the bomb. I thought of this. I could actually, you know what? I have not tried phrases yet. So let me try phrases um, and see what that comes up with. But I'm going to type you're the bomb because I thought it was a good pun. Everybody loves a good pun, right? Um, and I thought this would be great just to pull together these bridesmaids boxes I was actually working on. So I came up with putting that together um, and I think it'll be really, really cute. So I also love these oval shapes. I know this isn't really what we're looking for for right now, but I did wanna see what the phrases gave me. Um, and the best one that I see that fits what I need is gonna be this one. So I'm going to add that to my canvas and then go back and get a different image um, just to add a little variety. You know, you may not want everybody getting the exact same saying or gift, so you can switch it up just a little bit. Um, I like, these all say you're the best, you're the sweetest. Mm, this could actually work. I'm not opposed to that. I like that. And it's gonna be on a sticker, so the colors and stuff, you don't have to like manually push. Let's go with that one. Okay, cool, so I've got my images now, and all I really have to do is cut out the parts that I don't want. So for instance, I don't want this, um, I guess this is a popsicle stick. I don't want that, I don't want any of the words. So I'm gonna come over here and delete the um, layers that I don't need. I definitely wanna keep bomb, I don't need this piece and the rest of it is black. So I'm going to go over here and contour. And the purpose of contour is to just get rid of the stuff that I definitely, definitely don't want. I really just want the words, you're the. You're the. So I'm gonna unclick everything else that does not have to do with that. And I just keep the you're the. Now on this part, I just want the word bomb. So I'm gonna click on contour again and get rid of that piece and this comma, and now I've got your, your the bomb. Um, so here we are gonna arrange everything. I think it looks good right now. So I'm gonna put those back. Oh, they're still grouped, yay. Now, same thing for this one. I want this to be, I, so this has to fit on my circle, right? So I need to resize this to at least, I would say 1.75, and we'll see what that looks like. And it's basically just gonna go on top and piece of cake. Now you can also make this sticker uh, a little more shapely instead of maybe doing a circle. You could get the outline to um, fit exactly around this phrase, but I really wanted the circle so I could cover the entire back of the lavender bomb. Now to make it custom and personalized, all you have to do is go grab some text and put that person's name on it. So I try to grab text that looks similar to the vibe that's going on here. So maybe some like bubbly letters or even some large script would work. And the good thing about being a Cricut Access member is I get a lot of, I get unlimited access actually to all the fonts that they have. I do have to pay extra for like the copyrighted ones like from Disney and all that. But as far as, you know, your everyday fonts, I really love that feature because I don't want to spend my time looking for fonts and Cricut has enough good ones for me to pick from. Um, but I did used to spend a lot of time going and looking for free fonts online, but now I'm like, mm, anything that brings me ease is what I need to be going with. I kind of like this brown sugar and maybe I'm going to give this to my mom. I'm going to drop this in her stocking or put it in her mother of the bride, um, proposal box. So I'm just going to type mom here. 
Oops, that's not mom. Mom, you're the bomb. There you go. I think this would actually look a little bit better with bubble text, so I'm going to go try to find that real quick if y'all don't mind. Or even this would work, I think. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, so now we can choose whatever colors we want. So I have a lavender bath bomb, so I just thought it would be a better choice to go with something in this purple family, maybe like a periwinkle. Um, now, if you're really kind of OCD about it, you can always go to Google, search like lavender color code, grab the color code, put it into the advanced box. And I know my business color code is um, 0155. Oops, zero two one five five A. That's my navy that I use all the time. So I know that by heart. So when I put that in here, I can just, you know, pick that. And I actually am not opposed to the way this looks. So I'm gonna ungroup all three of these and I just wanna even it out a little bit. So I'm gonna highlight all of them and then distribute vertically. That's gonna give everything an even space. And then I can just give it a couple of, little movements. I just like to start with kind of the same vibe here. Okay, I think that looks good. So I'm going to highlight everything and I'm going to uh, group these for now. I need to fit them on my stickers. So remember, we're going with the 1.75 and this is going to be the actual sticker that I peel off the sheet. But in order for my printer not to print this gray circle, I actually have to turn it to white. Um, even though the paper is white, it still needs to be white. If you are doing or using the print and cut feature on colored sticker paper or colored vinyl or printable vinyl, anything like that, you still need a white background because it will print whatever color is on this design space. Um, it doesn't need to know the paper color you're using. White is just a universal. Okay, so I think that fits. If you um, highlight everything in a line center, I am pretty much done with that one, but I need this circle again so I'm going to duplicate it so I can create this other one um, so I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to click flatten everything and what that just did was tell the Cricut machine I'm going to print this circle exactly as I see it and when I send it over to you I just want you to cut this outline out that's what flatten does it basically puts everything on one layer which is how the Cricut machine reads things as individual layers at a time so I'm gonna go over here to blank canvas and turn the background color so y'all can see the actual circle. And this is what it looks like now. So this is what we'll print. Now for the year the bomb one, I'm gonna send this all the way to the back and the same exact thing would apply. I'm gonna highlight everything, center it and flatten it. And you'll notice the, the outlines are gone. This is something I would use uh, more for like a favor, um, something that doesn't need to be customized, maybe like, um, I guess you could still give bath bombs as favors from your wedding. Why not? Um, everybody takes a shower and takes a bath. And these are actually shower bombs, not bath bombs. So even more accessible. Now, if you want to, here's a bonus. <laughs> if you want to turn this You're the Bomb sticker, um, this phrase into a sticker on its own, I'm going to delete that circle. And all you have to do is go over here to offset and shoot. Let me move this to the side so we can actually see what we're doing. Um, you go to offset and choose an outline that gives you like a comfortable space around your sticker. I wouldn't go with anything less than maybe 0.15. Um, I would try to stay within that family because if it's too fat, then it kind of loses its whole kind of ordeal. And that's not really what we want. I don't know what's going on with design space right now. Uh oh, newer version detected. We are going to overwrite this. I don't know what the, oh, I guess I could have saved both. Oh, well. It's too late now, so I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to go to offset. I'm going to change that to 0 0.15, and I think that's as like tight to the space that I'm willing to go for a sticker. And the same thing would need to happen. I'll change the background to white, and then when I flatten it, I'm basically telling my Cricut machine to only cut the white outline, and this could be the whole sticker that goes on the back of your shower bomb. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to subscribe below and leave me some comments. Did you like this video? Did I go too far in depth? Are you looking for something else? Let me know. It's great speaking to you guys and I will talk to you all later. Bye.